Hi, my name is Sol Montoya from Giga Hatari. This time we are going to do a, a tutorial how to do a cross section of a raster in QEIS. So we have here two, uh, two rasters. We have one raster of digital elevation model, plus we have another raster from the phreatic surface or water table. In order to do um, a cross section, we need a plugin. So we, from this, this option that is plugin, I have it in Spanish, but from this option, we go into manage plugins and uh, it requires a, con a connection to the internet. And sometimes this connection could be very slow. I think that there is a lot of uh, QGIS users. So that's why it is not fast enough. It used to be faster. We wait, and then we have this. We on on this screen we type profile profile, and then we have the plugin profile tool. This plugin is a is a plugin that this that has been downloaded ninety five thousand times, and it has seventy seven votes with four stars. So in the in the media it means that this is a good plugin, and it's a plugin that is always in being updated so and the community around this plugin is is very good is is valorating well the plugin okay so we have profile tool we ha i have already installed but if you want you can reinstall uh you you have to install here i will reinstall it so again it has a connection to the internet and this can be a little bit uh, Low, but okay, let's wait a little bit. Um, let's let's wait a little bit because the plugin is okay, it's already it's ready, it's up to date, and then I get into close. Okay. I have already the plugin here, and, and once you have it, the plugin installed, it appears the it appears this option here, terrain profile. If you don't find it, just go to plugins and then go to uh, no, it doesn't appear here, or go to to right click to panels and then um, check if the toolbar of plugins is installed yeah so i have already installed to do the the cross section is quite easy you just have to to move to 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 select one let's say that i'm going to do after them and then press the plugin i'm going to put this up because my face is here and then i have just i will do a cross section of the of the aster dam, but I want to do both cross sections. I mean, I want to do the cross section of the aster dam, and I want to do the cross section of the water, the, the phreatic surface. So I will add another layer. So I will put add another layer, but I select water table and then I put add. So water table is here. I have by mistake. I have set twice the aster dam, so I. I select this one, just this one, and put remove layer, so I took it out. And both uh, after them and the water table has have the the same color, so I don't want the same color. I want um, a different color from them, so I put from the after them. I can put a surface, an added surface here, and for the water table I can put uh, this one. Maybe, yep. So what what I have said here is the two surfaces that, that are going to appear in the in the cross section. So I go. I'm. It's quite easy. It's really easy. Just press one point. Press another point. One point. Another point. Then double click. And automatically it appears the water table and the aster dam. 
Wow, very interesting. Let's, I will do, it appears only the water table, but what happened, only the astrodyne, but what happens? Ah, okay, uh, both has to be checked, otherwise it won't appear in the cross section. So you can see here that we have the, what, the, the, the surface elevation and we have the phreatic table on our, on our cross sections. And then you can do like multiple alignments. So if you want to go this way because you want to represent the lowest part of the basin, double click and it appears the, what is supposed to be the lowest part of the basin. Uh, you can do any type of, of cross sections or as many as you want. It's really powerful. It's it's really it's quick. You can export it as a PDF. You can export it as a JPG and PNG. And if you want the the table, I mean, you want because maybe you want this to to export to Excel, for example, and then you you want the coordinate of the point. You go to table and then you pick up the coordinate of the point, copy to clipboard, and then paste it on Excel. So this is. Um, this is the end of this tutorial of how to do a cross section with QGIS. Please follow us by by our Facebook that is facebook.com Hatari Water and our Twitter that is the same twitter.com Hatari Water. And thank you for this. And, and if you like what you have seen, just give like to this video as well. Um, okay, see you.